Welcome to the solution of the Game Show Brain Teaser. Here we have a classic problem from the game show Let's Make a Deal. And as you can see, we are a contestant on a game show, and we have to choose between three doors. Behind one of the doors is something we really, really want, such as a brand new car. And behind the other two doors is something we really don't want. So let's say behind the other two doors are pennies. So here's how the game works. Suppose you choose door number one. The host of the show will then open one of the two other doors. So door number two or door number three. But here's the catch. The host knows exactly what's behind each door. So the door that she opens will always show a penny. You are then given the option to stick with your first choice, which in this case is door number one, or you can switch to the other door, which has not been opened yet, which in this case is door number three. So the question of this brain teaser is, what should you do? Should you switch or should you stick with your first choice? Will switching give you a better chance of winning the car or will sticking with your first choice give you a better chance of winning the car? Or maybe you think it doesn't matter. Maybe you think you have the same chance of winning the car regardless. So take your time, work on this problem, and pause the video now if you do not want to see the solution yet. So what will give you the best chance of winning the car? And the answer to this question is switching. You should switch every single time. Now let me be clear by what I'm saying. Switching is not going to guarantee that you win the car. But if you want the highest chance of winning the car, you should switch every single time. But don't take my word for it. Let me show you why this is the case. So I think the simplest solution to this problem can be expressed by using this table. And this table will show us what's going to happen if we switch. So in the first column of this table, we have our first choice. And there's only two possible scenarios for our first choice. You're either going to pick the car or you're going to pick a penny. But first, let's see what happens if we pick the car as our first choice. Now in the second column of our table, we have the probability of our first choice actually happening. So what is the probability that we pick the car as our first choice? Well, there's one car out of three doors, so we have a one in three chance that we choose the car for our first choice. Now in the last column of our table is the end prize. This is what we're going to win if we switch. So if our first choice was the car, the other two doors both have pennies in them. So if we switch, of course, we're definitely going to win the penny. So this is what happens if our first choice was the car. But now let's see what happens if our first choice is a penny. So what is the probability of picking a penny as your first choice? Well, there are two doors out of three that have a penny behind it. So we have a two in three chance of picking a penny as our first choice. But what is going to be our end prize if our first choice is a penny? So let's see what we win given that the first choice is a penny. So let's say behind door number one and door number two are the pennies and behind door number three is the car. And once again, this is the scenario that we pick the penny as our first choice. So that means we're going to pick door number one or door number two. Uh, so let's say we pick door number one. Now at this point, the host will show you what is behind door number two or door number three. But remember, the host can never show you the car and always has to show you a penny. So the host cannot open door number three because it has the car behind it and will be forced to open door number two and show you the penny. Now after the host opens door number two, you are then given the option to switch. And if you switch to door number three, you're going to win the car. And this will always happen as long as your first choice is the penny. So if we go back to our table, we know that if our first choice is the penny, then our end prize is going to be the car as long as we switch. So we have a two in three chance of winning the car, which means we are twice as likely to win the car as long as we switch. 
So if you want the best chance of winning the car, you should switch every single time.